Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Awaken Tarot. There's a website on the back, uh, myryve.com. I think if you go to that website, I haven't been to it yet, but you'll also see the creative director, I think is how she's referred to. Her name is Sally Willems, W-I-L-L-M-S. So if you're interested in this deck or that information, there you go. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich and the website for this one, hayhouse.com at the bottom of the box there says Hay House. Feel free to freeze frame if you need that. What do we have for Aquarius? Alright, let's there was like a like that was an exhale. So do you have a good outcome? Yeah, you do. Um, it's funny, part of me is going, is this going to be perfect though? And the other part says, when has it been perfect? <laughs> when has that happened? Um, how often does that happen? Overall, with this situation, there's a lot of success. Um, this might go a little out of order because I feel like they're saying... This is not playing out as expected. And it's not about, I don't think it's about things going perfectly, but it's kind of like throwing a party and then somebody showing up that you really don't care for. It's kind of like, oh, they're not a problem for you and it's fine. Maybe they're on best behavior. They don't become an issue for you, but it's kind of like reminding you to not center on what you didn't want, center on what did go well. Because I feel like it's one of those things. It's going to be one of those things where we had this party going on and I wasn't, I didn't even think about that person. So I go to this, part, this party and that person's there that I really don't care for. They're not really a problem for you, but the, it bothers you that they're there. Might be one of those things. But the, again, they're saying keep your focus on what you do like and enjoy what you like and just keep focusing on what you do like. Like you don't have to acknowledge that any more than you want to. But that's what the situation is going to be like because in the past, I feel like I've tried to make things go well and I've put in a lot of orders and I've put in a lot of plans and I've done a lot of things to like set things up in an advantageous way. And I felt like I had a lot of different angles that I covered. Can't cover every angle, but I feel like I covered a lot of them. Um, I tried to work out the differences. Uh, you got the Hierophant. Nope. The Hermit, which is number nine, the Hermit reversed, and you got the Ace, or no, that's the Six of Fire, that's success. You've done really well with this, and you've gotten a lot of information out there, you've talked to a lot of people, you figured out what you need to prepare for, you thought this is most likely, that is most likely, so whatever the situation is, you've gone through a lot of possibilities, and you've done your best to think of like what could happen, and I've done my prep work, I've done my research. I don't think I need to tell Aquarians that they're smart. You know you're smart. And you've, you've looked at it in every angle you could think of for the best possibility. Like, again, you can't cover every angle, but you have did the major ones you've looked out for. And this coming up is like one of those angles that you're like, I didn't think that was going to happen. And, oh, look, at that happened. Um, the plan is going out the window. There's the Four of Cups coming up in the future, and I'm noticing how I have this down. This is actually the Eight of Cups, but I noticed I, co I covered four of them with the other card. Um, your plans are going to change. They're not lost. The trick is, whatever's coming in, to not center on what you don't want, center on what you do want for this situation. To me, this is very much... Ugh, I'm going to get shot for this, but... <laughs> um, it's kind of like how manifestation more realistically works. You're not going to have control over everything. You're just not. Um, but if you can control where how you're feeling about the situation and center on what you like, that gets stronger. What you don't like gets weaker. I'm not a fan of like saying it's just going to disappear. Or like, oh, it's just not there anymore. Especially if you have an ex-partner or something like that that you're connected with and you have maybe kids involved with. They're not going to disappear. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to improve their personality if you don't care for their personality. 
it's still going to be there. But the more you center on what you do like from that connection with that person, the more you're going to get with that, the more you enjoy that, the more you're going to get with that. The less you pay attention to that you don't like, it'll diminish, probably not disappear. You'll probably have to mediate it, mitigate it, mediate it, mediate it. There's an M word there that I can't pull forward. You'll probably have to deal with it to some level, but at a minimal level, if that makes sense. This, to me, this is where the law of attraction can really be advantageous. Not in the sense of like bad things disappearing, but like the good being stronger and more prevalent and the negative being less and being easier to deal with. Not gone, but maybe easier to deal with than in the past. Um, because whatever this situation is, whatever that negative part is of this situation, it's kind of like you're, you're stuck with it. It's not going away. Uh, another analogy I would use is like a, work, a working situation, especially if you work in a corporate environment. Um, the more you look at what you like, the stronger that gets. The less you play into that that you don't like, usually the better it gets. Um, I don't know how to explain that because I can understand like, yeah, but I got this boss and blah, blah, blah. There may be opportunities that come forward for you that you can change your connection. You might have opportunities that you weren't expecting. Uh, this, To me, that's more of a realistic way of manifesting. Again, like I shouldn't have said the other way, but, but people are, I know certain people aren't going to like that, but this is how I come to it. I'm also a person that believes that like trouble comes into life because we're meant to go through trouble and get out the other side stronger. Um... I don't believe that people just manifest negative things just because they have random negative thoughts because it seems like that's kind of how that goes. I don't really believe that. I'm more like challenges come in front of us and we can manifest our way out of them. I hope that makes sense because I maybe I'm not putting that in the correct context. Because um, I feel like you're holding on to something that's shocking you. And there's something here that you don't like the trick is to not hold on to that energy too much. Um, face it, deal with it, put it away. Even if, again, we're going to use that party analogy, maybe it's the ex, maybe the ex is showing up at this party. You don't have to talk, you, hopefully you don't have to talk to them very much. Go have some food away from them. Go talk to other people who don't, you don't, when you don't have to deal with them. You know, don't overconnect to them. Don't over-center on it. Yeah, they're there, but there's things you can enjoy here. Um, because I feel like it's like something shocks you, something shows up that you don't really care for. The trick is to not let it monopolize your thoughts. And I'm getting whatever this situation is, it can do that. Because at the same time that this is popping in, you also have this popping in. You got the sun card and the uh, the page of wands. It's, there's a natural energy you get to choose here. The bad is not going to disappear. I just, I feel like that's unrealistic to say it's just going to go. It's not. But your connection to it and your relation to it could change how this whole situation goes for you. The more like, if, for example, if we're going to use the X thing and maybe you have kids to get kids in common, you center on the children and what makes the children happy, even if they're talking about the X, you just center on what you love about your children and how that's going for you. And like, okay, they're acknowledging that. That's not bad. At least they have a parent, a second parent who's involved. Maybe they're not involved the way I want them to be, but they're st it's still there and they, they love that parent. And then you just keep going and you just let it pass on by. It's a situation you can't control. It's a situation that is what it is. But the more you center on what you like, the more you get that sun card. There's more possibilities here. I feel like I'm not saying it right. It just something bothers me. Like I'm not saying it quite right. Because if things are wrong, there's also a way in time to deal with it that you can put it right in perspective. Especially if it's like, okay, we're at this party and something is said and the part, I find out what the partner's doing and I don't like it and I don't want to forget. I'm a fan of like sending myself texts and then just don't, don't unhighlight it, if that makes sense. Because then later on you'll be like, oh, that's right. <laughs> when you go like unanswered texts and you're like, oh yeah, that to myself and I wanted to remember that. Do that. Um... If you have the if you have the ability to, maybe you're gonna eat, maybe send yourself a quick little email or something, and just leave it unread in your email. So when you go back or when you go to work, you're like, oh, that's right, I gotta remember to do that, that type of thing. Um, there's a difference here, though. I really hope I'm saying it right because I'm getting like there's something here that can hold you down, even though you have a lot of good in front of you. Like that four of cups is typically that card, 
there's a lot of good in front of you, but there's this one thing that's not right that's just monopolizing your energy, and we don't want that. Address it, deal with it, put it away. Do what you can in the moment, but it's kind of like when I... It's been, the point has been made, and I very much agree with it. Fret or worry or guilt, that doesn't really, it's not really empowering. You don't really get much out of it. If you're going to do something with it, do something. Like, especially guilt. Most of the time, guilt isn't warranted. If there's guilt there, and kind of like, I want to do better, or I want to do something different, set, set aside what you want to do, make yourself a note, whatever you got to do, then step away from it, and then when the moment comes, do what you, do what you need to do. Don't let it hold you down. Don't let it monopolize your thoughts, especially because Aquarius is very strong mentally. The thing is, you can also beat the crap out of yourself mentally if you decide to. So it's like having control of that, getting control of that energy and kind of like using it to your advantage versus your disadvantage. Um, I think that's kind of like the catch-22 of very intelligent people. You can be very helpful for yourself and very good for yourself, but you can also be the person who's the biggest problem <laughs> for your own life. Because that, because if you if you box yourself in and you put yourself in that corner and you're like, this is how it is, and I've thought it out, and this is where I am, you can be the most, you can be the biggest hurdle in your own life. Intelligence has that backlash of that. Like you can see a lot of things, you can figure out a lot of things, but if you lock yourself in a corner, you can convince yourself you can't get out of it too, and it can be very hard to convince you otherwise. Be careful of that. Again, you have success here. You got a lot of success here here for you. It's all about changing perception. Once that perception changes, things go differently. Um, am I going to dare go here with this? Because I'm seeing this and I'm noticing it. I almost cringe to say this. Sometimes when people are problems for you, they get very connected to that energy. And it's not about liking it or disliking it, because it could be a mix of both or one or, one or more of either or whatever. But they get very connected to it. They get very used to it, and they keep playing into it. Whether they like it or not, they might keep playing into it. If you start disconnecting that game or situation or that scenario, whatever it is, and you stop participating in that way, they might keep participating for a while, but soon it'll draw them out or drain them out because if you're not playing that part of that scenario anymore, it, it it costs too much energy for them to keep playing it on their own. So say you and this X, we're going to do that whole X thing again. You always have something to say, and you're like, I don't like this, I don't like that. Legitimate things, but still, they're expecting you to say. And then when you say what they you say, they're just, they roll their eyes, and they're like, see, see, this is how Aquarius is. See, this is how Aquarius does that. And they keep, and there's this game that keeps going back and forth. If you start disconnecting from that and you start going, you know what, I, comp I complain about these things and I'm right, it's not about being right, it's, it's kind of like, is it being effective? Does it change anything? Does it really make anything better? Or is it just making this more of an uphill battle? Um, so it's almost like, first, the first thing is like, well, I don't want them to not take care of my kids, for example, if you had kids together. So I still need to say something, but you know what, I'm not going to say anything in person anymore. I'll just send a polite text, boom. And then I'll just, when I send that text, I'll just make sure that it gets taken care of. I'll keep an eye on it, and we'll see if that works. And if it gets taken care of, I'm not going to say anything. But I'm going to start just doing the polite text, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to verbally talk to them because we get, we get stuck in these arguments. And I'm going to also do it in a text in a way that, like, I'll send them the information. If they say something snotty back, I wasn't expecting anything better, so I'm just not going to play back. I'm just going to stop playing. And they can ex exhaust all that energy themselves. I have better things to do with my energy. It may take some time. Makes take some. Make take some um, discipline to make that actually work out that way. But that might be the first step in this going more to your advantage. That energy bond it does kind of build on itself, and it could create more. Even though you're right, it still could create an energy bond that just creates more calamity than help. If that makes sense. Um, I'm getting this situation, whatever we're talking about, by shifting your perception, you start to handling things differently. When you start handling things differently and disconnecting from these loops that are just creating chaos in your life that you don't care for, you got some interesting things going on. Because I feel, I know I say this a lot, but it really, I, I think of my grandmother a lot. She was an Aquarius and she was very, very intelligent. Um, when things are more, like, you're going to keep using your intellect, but when you start looking at it in a different light, 
and you start handling things different because you can do things differently. Um, and you start like, especially when people you don't care for, instead of engaging with them more, you engage with them less, you just make it more effective when you have to. And you make sure it's just to your advantage, your advantage in the sense of like where you want it to be. Not in the moment advantage, but in the advantage like, okay, in the moment you might connect with somebody and they like, they have a little sappy this or that to say, and maybe you have the urge just to prove to them who's the real smart one here, which is you. And you're just kind of like have the need to just kind of snap them a little bit. That's a momentary advantage. It's not really going to work for you. What you want is the long-term advantage of like, okay, I can say something really snappy in this moment, but if I just ignore them and just go on and just make sure they do what they were supposed to do, it starts draining the energy from that situation. It starts taking that away. That's no longer that much of an inconvenience. And that person starts to learn you don't really care for them to the point where you're not even going to waste the time talking to them if you don't have to. And that brings that energy down that's less you have to deal with, that's less energy sucked into that, wasted there, and more energy you get to take and put somewhere that you actually want it to be and you can make your life even better. I hope I'm saying it right. I just really, because I get like this is a moment where you can really have a great time, you can really have things more advantageous for you. It's just, I feel like it's maybe not engaging in these little like it's almost like what do you call it like it's like these little moments that are just like you know this is gonna be cringy but self-indulgent moments where you just kind of like want to want to have that last word in that moment or you want to have that 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 snappy little comeback in that moment or you just want to make your point in that moment it's not really difficult usually for Aquarius to make a good point or to prove that you're smart it's more difficult for Aquarius, I think, to disengage and to not play the game. That whatever person think what they want and get that long-term advantage. When you see it that way, though, once you shift that thought, and you're like, that's what I want, so I'm not going to say anything here. At first, it might be very difficult to do that, because especially if you're in a pattern of that. Again, Aquarius is smart. You like to be seen as smart. Usually. Usually. Um... So disengaging from that situation, from that scenario, could be very difficult. But if you can do it, things get better for you. Life gets better for you. You have better people that you can have smart conversations with. You know what I'm saying? Than these people who are just trying to suck your energy. Hopefully that helps. Are we good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.